Hello! Hi! <laughs> In today's video, I want to use this nice and beautiful and like rosy shade all over the lid. So I don't know where we're going with this, but I think I want to use this and then like a Jeffree Star liquid lippy and Leo or something like that and then just go for a little bit more neutral on the eyes and that warm tone still kind of neutral lippy I think that's the vibe I want today even though it is 4 in the afternoon yay so without further ado let's do this I am going to start off with the Velour liquid lip scrub because I'm going to apply liquid lipstick and I know that my lips are hella dry at the moment so I need to get that skin off and moisturize while I do the rest of my makeup. Mm. It's kind of good. And then to moisturize my lips, I love this. This is the Louis Whitmer lip. Okay, I was almost going to say in Dutch or French. English words, surely English. This is a lip balm for dry and chapped lips. I'll do my brows again off camera because it takes me nah, some time. Okay, so next up I am going to prime with my Painterly Paint Pot by MAC and uh, why did I say it like that? By MAC! MAC! Okay, so I am going to use the Pat McGrath Mothership 5, the one with like the red shade in here that everybody loves and I gotta say I love it too, but today I want to focus on using this shade all over the lid and I am going to start off with this shade and put it in my crease. So just taking this and go for it. This is a very light shade, you, can, you don't have to worry just and it blends itself. Wow, I have never used a mirror in this before. As you can see, oh damn that's stuck in there. This dark brown shade, just the tiniest amounts, and put it in the outer V just to give the eye a little bit more dimension. And why am I speaking with my hands so much? I am going to switch back to my Sigma blending brush and blend these two shades. Together, of course. I'm just going to take this shimmery pinky shade on my little pinky and apply it on the inner half of my eyelid. And yes, I'm going to use my pinky because I found that it works. I'm going to take a cotton pad and again bioderma my cellar water. I am going to wipe away the glitter fallout underneath my eyes. I am going to use the Pekka Backlight Priming Filter and... Mm, again, the easy way, pop it directly on my face. Just for funsies. This is a long time though, see this used to be like my only foundation. This is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Lasting Liquid Foundation. 
It has SPF 20 and this is in the shape Mutual 2, which is, as you probably will be able to tell, too yellow for me, but you know, blend down in it and no one notices, long sleeves, so you're good. Um, yeah, this is what the bottle, bottle looks like. Yeah, so I am just going to pump some out. This is one pump, and as you can see, when I gonna tilt it, it is going to run down very easily. So it is quite liquidy, but because it is so liquidy, I didn't expect it had medium coverage, quite good medium coverage. See? I think they now also have like a glowy version of this one, which I would like to try. Next up is the Born This Way Multi-Use Cotton Concealer by Too Faced in Snow. I am going to powder my under eyes using my Cryoland TL11 powder thingy. I am going to set my T-zone and I am going to try something new and apply highlight and contour and all that on wet skin. Let's pray this works out for me. Trusty old uh, bronze goddess by ST Louder and me bronzer brush, bronzer brush, the E4 by Morphe. Wow, stop here, Julie. Your skin looks like natural ish. Blusher! You are going to be shocked. Mm -hmm. Here's a new baby in the family. This is Peach Passion Shimmer Pure Color Blush by Estee Lauder. If I can open it. <laughs> Looks like this. Again, mm, highlights plenty beauty. Yeah, can't help myself. It is so amazing. First of all, I am going to set my face with the Max Fix Plus Gold Light Spray just because we are going on the dewy skin route, so we might as well take it there. The only thing that I found, I like. A little bit further than halfway and I always have to wipe off like this pretty part right here because some of the lips from in here get like trapped and locked in there and then I want to spray it but the spray is even worse because MAC Fix Plus doesn't have the best spray but if you keep it far, far enough you're good but yeah See, it's already locked up. I didn't have that until like three uses ago. Oh! But it does give you like a nice nose, so we'll, we'll learn how to deal with it. I am going to take this brush where I had that dark brown shade on. My nose is itchy and I am just going to dip back into that light brown shade with that brush that already had like a little bit of the darker one on so you get a mixture of those two mm -hmm. and just put a little bit on the lower lash line nothing too crazy nothing too much just ever so slightly to tie the look together yes better now highlight I'm actually going to take um, this light shimmery shade in the corner, put a little bit of that in my inner corner because I don't want like the most crazy highlight and a little bit on the brow bone, again, not wanting that. Okay, this does give you a nice 
I shine but I don't think that I'll apply lashes so lash curler and mascara I'll be right back so that are the eyes for today as you can see super natural super wearable super fun now I am going to wipe off my lip balm that I had on wow I am finally back to do the rest of my makeup I'm gonna put that there my battery died yes I have a backup battery was it charged no so all that I had left to do is apply some lippies I'll use Leo by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is this Flora liquid lipsticks. And I love this perfect chocolatey color. So this is it, this is the final look. Ta-da! I, I love it. I forgot how much I loved a neutral eye and a dark lippy. Ever since I got that James Charles palette, I always went for neutral lippies and very bold eyes, strange colors, that kind of stuff. But man, I love, I love this kind of makeup. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It is way more basic and super easy to create um please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and i hope you, i see you in my next video bye